Welcome to the Oatana Today Show, your community connection since 1991. My name is Linda Karnowskis, and I'll be your host today, Friday, December 11th. First part of our show today, we're going to go down to the High V and visit with the Salvation Army as they were having their Red Kettle campaign. Later on in the show, we're going to be visiting with John Meixner down at the Little Professor Bookstore and possibly talk about some Christmas gifts. Today is Friday, and on Friday, we recognize our very valued sponsors. We'll start out with our premier sponsors, and they are the City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, United Way of Steele County. Our primary sponsors are Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Brookdale Senior Living Solutions, Little Theater of Owatonna, and Owatonna Foundation. Our interlude sponsors include Abraham Consulting Technologies, Bremer, Bre Bremer Bank, Brenda Bennar Mortgage Office, Glenn Mager and Michael Mager of Brick Mager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Carlson Branston and Company CPAs, ERA Galepsi Real Estate and Fairview Animal Medical Clinic, Horizon Eye Care, Owatonna Business Incubator, Steele County Historical Society, Steele County Transitional Housing, The Third Hand Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. And we hope you will support these fine Owatonna businesses and that support the Owatonna and that support the Owatonna Today Show. Please say thanks to them when you see them out and about. And this show is able to continue because of them. We are always looking for more supporters of the Oatana Today Show, and if you are a business or you would like more information about becoming a sponsor of our program, please contact Leanne at 390-5751. Stay with us, and when we come back from a word with our sponsors, we'll be visiting with the Salvation Army. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. The majority of fatal home fires happen at night when people are sleeping. Smoke alarms give you time to escape. We recommend that you have a smoke alarm in every sleeping room of the house and on every floor in the common living areas. Smoke alarms should be tested monthly and batteries should be replaced at least once a year. This is a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Hello, I'm David Einhaus with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I'm Nate Chesney and I play Scrooge as a young man. And I'm John Terrell and I play Mr. Fezziwig in LTO's current production of A Christmas Carol, directed by Jeffrey Jackson and sponsored by Wells Fargo. Performances of A Christmas Carol will be held Friday and Saturday, December 4th and 5th at 7.30 p.m. with a matinee on Sunday, December 6th at 2 p.m. And again the following Thursday through Saturday, December 10th, 11th, and 12th at 7.30 p.m. with a matinee on Sunday, December 13th at 2 p.m. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764 or online at littletheaterofoatana.org. Don't be a humbug. Don't miss LTO's production of A Christmas Carol. Welcome back to the Oatana Today Show, your community connection. This is Leanne on the go, and I'm out here at High V with two very lovely bell ringers. <laughs> we have with us Sarah Perkle and Gina Shepard from the Salvation Army here in Oatana. Ladies, welcome to the show. Hey, everybody. We're yeah. glad to be here. Thank <laughs> I, you for having us. You bet. I should actually say welcome back. We had you on in November when you were kicking off your Red Kettle campaign. And um, your Red Kettle campaign needs a little bit of a boost, I take it. Yeah, we really do need bell ringers right now. We're hoping that this will help us to um, get the word out there that we're really needing people to give us a shout and tell us that they want to help us with two hours of time this holiday season to be a bell ringer. Okay, and you told me that to date your, don your donations are down. Correct. And you attribute that to? The lack of 
people signing up to volunteer right now. For bell rings. And we think yes. that a lot of it has to do with just um, us not having the correct contact information for some of our folks that we've okay. worked with in the past. Um, a lot of people have gotten new cell phones and that kind of thing and maybe changed a phone number okay. and our contacts have changed, you know. So we want everybody just to know that the bell ringer phone number is 413-6700, okay. 413-6700, and that um, people will give us a call if they've been a bell ringer in the past and, and they haven't heard from us yet, please make a call. And if you've been thinking about being a bell ringer and you haven't signed up or you just have some questions, a, another good reason to give a call. Okay. So, Sarah, how do we get bell ringers? <laughs> She's so funny. So, so, you know, the point is, is if you can volunteer a couple hours, and there are places like this at Hy-Vee where you are indoors, yep. not outdoors, yep. um, please consider donating a little bit of your time. It is a really precious gift, something mm -hmm. that doesn't cost a lot of money but can make a huge difference in our community um, to help us be able to continue the services and the programs that we currently provide again in the next year. Okay, and yeah. do you tell us what some of those services and programs are that the Salvation Army provides to our community? You know, I, I would like to say that we provide, um, we really think about the basic needs of people, that's number one. You know, we hate to see, especially in this winter season, that people are going cold or hungry or don't have anywhere to stay or a warm jacket. I can't tell you how many people right now are coming into my office and they don't have a warm coat. Oh, I know, and, and that is so sad. It, it is, it is, and you know, this is something that we can provide for them. Um, through our red kettles. You know, we also have a lot of programs that we run throughout the summer, you know, helping the kids with school, and we also have our disaster services program. Um, but I will also say, you know, in the winter here, we're trying to keep people's utilities on. Mm. Um, there's always this myth that, oh, they can't turn you off in the winter. They can, and they do. And so we want to reach out to those people and make sure that their families are warm. Okay, as you said, very, very basic needs for it, people. It really is. I mean, bottom line is that's where we begin. You know, you can't help people, you know, develop and get, you know, out of a situation that they're in if we can't deal with the crisis at hand. Mm -hmm. And so when we start meeting those basic needs and dealing with the crisis that they have, it, it eliminates that stress that they may be feeling in their lives, and then they can look forward into the future. Right, and, and they don't have to be stuck in the immediacy of that crisis situation where that eats up all of your time and your energy. Right, and it's not just at Christmas that we provide those types of assistance programs and different um, availabilities of funding. It's throughout the entire year, but the Christmas season is when we raise all of the funding for the following year to make that possible. 87 cents from every single dollar stays right here in Steele County that comes into the kettles, and um, we're just... We're excited to be able to be out here today and be able to be ringing, so. It's really fun. I mean, honestly, look at our smiles. You watch people walk by and they're happy and people come over they and tell are. you some stories. You know, and I will say, you know, one of the things I was thinking about the other day that we provide, and Sarah had mentioned this earlier too, is people that tend to not, well, they can't pay for their medications. You know, for us, you know, a $5 medication or a $50 medication may suck, but you know what? Mm -hmm. We can do it. We can do it. Right. And not everybody can. And what ends up happening is sometimes what happens is, let's say, diabetic medication. Anybody who's a diabetic knows those medications oh. are so expensive. And they're and, very important. And they are. And, you know, that's something that you need to survive. So what happens is if you can't afford to pay for your diabetic medication, you'll go to the emergency room. Mm. Well, what is that costing the community? And so A we lot. can, <laughs> it is. And so we can be there to step up and say, do you need those medications? And um, we can provide that service for them. Okay. Now, Sarah. Um, Hi, Merry Christmas. <laughs> the Salvation Army actually has a creed or a manifesto, yeah, which is really the basis of all of the work that you do, and you wanted to share that with I us. I really did. It, it just really sums up for us a lot of what we do, and it just kind of puts it all into perspective. So it's, it starts out with saying, I'm doing the most good. And I'm going to use we because as bell ringers, we all join together hand in hand. And so it, it says, I'm, I'm doing the most good, but we're going to go with we. Okay. So here we go. We. We are doing the most good. We are hope. We are compassion, we are strength, we are faith. We are doing the most good. We serve a community, a region, a nation, a world. 
We serve heroes, we serve victims, we serve a sovereign God. We are doing the most good. We are an army drafted by the Creator, commissioned by a man who defied death. Our enemies are despair and destruction, our ammunition is grace and mercy, our allies are generosity and benevolence. We are an army helping others be all that they can be. We are doing the most good. We feed empty stomachs and hungry souls. We rebuild ruined homes and shattered lives. We are a willing listener for a veteran with stories to tell. We are a bottled water and an encouraging smile for a weary firefighter. We are an answered prayer, a silver lining, a second chance. We are doing the most good. We are a humble steward of other people's generosity. We are a grateful courier of a stranger's kindness. We are the faithful, faithful executor of another's goodwill. I t we take our responsibility seriously. We are a blessing. We are blessed. We are the Salvation Army, and we're doing the most good. And we hope that people will sign up and help us out in making this possible this year. So give us a ring. We really need your help. <laughs> exactly. And I think what, what you just read there really does embody not only Everything. the Christmas spirit mm -hmm. that we, it, which is really the reason for the season, yes. kind of yes. thing, um, but it, and it's also something that we can carry forward for the other 11 right. months of the year. And you know, who in this community doesn't know that Salvation Army is here? You know, you know us as a church, you know us as an organization, you know what we do for the community. And I'll tell you, the people in need also know that we're here. I get 20 to 40 phone calls a day. You know, they may just be a question, oh a referral, somebody who's in crisis. But you know what? I'm thankful that we're here for this community and that we can give those services exactly. to them. Exactly. Can you give us a sampling of what types of, of needs come through with these phone calls? It's It varies so much. Like I said, a lot of it is basic needs. I'll tell you, I was just looking through my calls yesterday, and I will tell you that I had three families with children that were homeless. Oh. And... You know, it, it's hard to hear that, but it is in, in the community, and I'm thankful that we can be there for them. Yes. We also have, um, there are two people that were disconnected, and they didn't have heat in their homes, and they're calling and wondering what they're going to do. And, you know, when you're at a loss and you have no idea, you call the Salvation Army, and we're there to help. Yeah, all precisely. It's important for everyone to know that we are a last resort um, place for people to come to. So if they've been denied services or other assistances through um, programs that are available in the community that they could not qualify for, that's when they're coming to us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like they've already gone through a lot of those other steps to find the, the help that they're looking for and they haven't been able to find it. You know, and we don't want to ever shut somebody out or say, no, I'm sorry, we can't help when they have a real need that, that we normally would be able to um, to be able to meet. So these dollars that come into these kettles make all the difference and we can't do it without bell ringers. Oh, exactly. We really do need the bell ringers. We are hope where there's hopelessness, when nobody has anywhere else to go. We're those resources, we're the ones that say, you know what, we may have an answer for you and give them that little light of hope. So, and you can all be a part of it by doing what? giving us a call. It's as simple as picking up the phone, 413-6700, and signing up for just two hours. If, if Gina and I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Actually, you two are quite I the pair. I love it. I really love it. You have you... such a, a, a bright outlook and the huge smiles on your faces. I mean, who wouldn't want to give you a quarter or a dollar or maybe even, like happened up in the Twin Cities, a $500,000 check. Oh now, gosh. wouldn't that just blow your mind? Yes. <laughs> yes and yes. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that much. Anything that you can spare. You know, pocket, pocket change, change adds up. It absolutely does. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it totally does. And, and you know, if people can drop off checks in the kettle. We want to make sure that people know that that's okay. Um, the thrift store, you can always drop off money there, too. Um, the kettles are everywhere in the community, you know, but, but before, before you, you know, it's like you make that commitment to, to go ahead and do that, you know, consider giving us a ring. We really do need help Absolutely. for bell ringing. Thank All you, you right. guys. Well, please keep us updated. Uh, we have a couple more Mondays that we film our shows on and we can give the community um, an update as to where you're at kind of thing. And if you Sounds do good. need more, more bell ringers. So, Thank you so much, ladies. Merry uh, Christmas. The Red Ladies from the Salvation Army, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being guests on the Thank Ortana you. Today Show. And please stay with us. We, we will be right back after a word from our sponsors.
United Way is all about changing lives, reaching out a hand, advancing the common good, creating opportunities, inspiring hope, navigating obstacles. Please join us and all Napa Distribution Center employees by giving generously, advocating for a better quality of life, and volunteering your time. We all win when we live united. united. Hi, my name is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance. We're here to handle all your insurance needs. We are a very proud supporter of the Otana Today Show. I didn't just want another job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town, and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself, and they helped find the right career for me. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. I'm Bill Owens with the Owatonna Business Incubator. Whether your business is just starting out or is expanding, we have the office space and manufacturing space that you need. As the Small Business Counseling Center for this region, we are able to help you in your expansion or your startup of your business. We are a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. connection. It's Leanne on the go and guess where we are? That's right, Little Professor Bookstore and we're here with John Meixner. Hi John, welcome to the Oatana Today Show. Good evening. Hi. Uh, um, I was just asking you, how long have you been in business here? I'll be in business 30 years in April. That is absolutely amazing. How do you feel you've been able to stay in business um, as an independent bookstore owner um, when there's so many different ways for people to be able to buy books at the large bookstores and online and, and that kind of thing. Oh, we just have to have a wide variety of items and be able to sh keep in stock what people of Owatonna like to read. There's uh -huh. a lot of good readers in town, so we can keep an eye on what they're picking out and make sure we have what they need. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Why did you want to start a bookstore? I, I got out of college and I really couldn't find a job. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so there you go. You created your own opportunity. Yes. Okay. Well, you your store is absolutely crammed full of wonderful things for people to come and look at um, to consider giving as gifts for Christmas. And I know I always appreciate getting a, a book of some kind um, over the years, but you also have a wider, uh, large variety of other things as well. So why don't we get started? Because I'd like to know what is hot reads for, for uh, the Christmas season this year. Well, right now we're going with a lot of wide variety of things, but you always have your good authors here, like on our bestseller list, which is always 20% mm -hmm. off. John Grisham. Oh, oh, great. Stephen King. They have new books out. Um, Robert Galbraith, who writes mysteries, which is actually J.K. Rollins, the author of um, the Harry Potter books. She's written three mysteries under the name Robert Galbraith. Oh, that's right. Okay. And can you get all three of them here? Yes, you can. All right, perfect. In the nonfiction, we have like uh, Thomas Jefferson and the Tripoli Pirates who were battling Islamic pirates back at the turn of the 1800s. Really? Killing, killing Reagan is selling very good by Bill O'Reilly, as all of his books are. Mm hmm. And um, nonfiction paperbacks, I am Marlena. And Boys in the Boat, about the 1936 um, Olympics. Oh, okay. All very interesting stories. Wonderful. So your bestsellers list are right here as you walk into the store, right up there um, mm -hmm. on the counter. Okay. Well, we have fiction, nonfiction, sports, children's books, art, wide variety of things. But it's winter, and you always think about cooking. And cookbooks are always a good seller Christmas. And mm -hmm. these are the Crockin' Girls, two of our best-selling crockpot cookbooks. Oh, the crock. Okay, I've never heard of them. So this is all slow cooking. Yes, slow cookers. Recipes. 
Yes. Wonderful. And they're very good, and the temperature makes you feel like you want a slow cooker. <laughs> and then, of course, our yes. biggest selling cookbook so far this year is The Prairie Woman Cooks Dinner Time. Okay, and who is The Prairie Woman? Uh, Reed Dunham. She has written a number of um, cookbooks before. They're kind of simple, easy, step-by-step -step Americana cooking. Mm, okay, all right. So lots of old-time have... favorites, I suppose, in those cookbooks. Oh, yeah. And the children's books, a lot of nice... Soft board ones, <laughs> noisy ones. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Christmas books, of course. We have some nice, beautiful children's books like The Reindeer Wish. Mm, now, is that recently published? Yes, this is brand new. A few years back, they'd written another book called The Christmas Wish that some might okay. remember. And this is the next one. There's fun children's books like Esno, The Christmas Tree Hunt. Okay. And even... Stories of the Nativity. We oh, have nice okay. children's books also. Right. And you do have a nice variety of children's books oh, back yes. there. And Christmas romances. Debbie McComber, Linda Lane Miller. Wide variety of those. Okay. Too. And they are very popular authors for, yes. for that type of genre. Okay. But besides um, books, we have um, a large number of puzzles. Christmas puzzles, in fact. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Look at the little dogs in there. Oh, that's great. And those are wonderful, wonderful gifts to give because you're spending time with family yeah. and the children have time off from school and it's really just a wonderful activity to do with the family is to sit even down and put together a Springbok puzzle. Springbok even makes a line of um, puzzles that are family puzzles where they have the little pieces for the adults and in the middle are big pieces for kids so oh. all the kids and the adults can all work together on the same puzzle. Oh, that's wonderful because I know I, as a kid I would have a difficult time with those little puzzle pieces and trying mm -hmm. to figure out exactly how they all fit together. And we also have puzzles for um, as you get older, your hands get a little stiffer and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So they do have adult puzzles with larger pieces also. Oh, okay. And thicker pieces as well? Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. And, and I'm just going to move back here and swing back and show all of these wonderful puzzles that you have right here Yes, we here have a whole display. table full of um, Christmas puzzles. Wonderful. Just There's the beautiful spring images. ones. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that, okay, that's wonderful. That's... You know, and, and that really is a timeless gift because, like a book, you can reread the book from time to time. With a puzzle, you can redo the puzzle from time yes. to time as well. Oh, one other book that I want to mention quick for you. Oh, yes. yes. There is a new history of rock and roll in I the 1960s saw that. in Minnesota. Right. So it's, everybody's heard about the bird. About the bird. And was that a one hit wonder? Now I can't recall. I don't remember either, but I've been <laughs> looking in there and I have not seen any of the Otana bands like the Us and stuff like oh, that. But, um, that would have been great. I haven't finished reading it yet. You haven't, okay. Besides right. the children's books, we also have a nice selection of things from Springbok for children, activity sets like Pound a Pig, their puzzles, of course. Oh, and I puzzles. love those wooden puzzles, especially for those. They have um, nice cloth activity books for little toddlers. Okay. And then even a large number of um, activity things, and these are all under $5, like making beads, making a truck and painting a truck. Oh, okay. Great stocking stuffers. Yes. For sure. And not just for children, too. We have activities for adults. Another big craze now lately has been... Um, the adult coloring oh, the books. the doodler. Yeah, the coloring books. That's... And we have large numbers of different things. The Animal Kingdom, Color Me Stress Free, Secret Garden, and um, high quality pencil oh, sets. Oh, and then you've got the pencil sets as well. Yeah, and these are artist quality pencils. Oh, okay. All right. Great. And, and, okay, continue. Oh, <laughs> and then with all that, we have also a large number of um, games and activities. You have um, a little... Geode sets the kids can break open and discover. Dinosaurs they can, bones they can dig out. Mm -hmm. Shark teeth, even a chance to win a real gold bar. But almost <laughs> all of them are iron pie, right? But there's always a chance. That's, okay. Are there, is there supposed to be a gold bar mixed in amongst? Uh, you get a little, there's a chance of a token. Of a token? To, to send in for a gold coin. Oh, really? Oh, but how they much don't give the that? odds, so I'm not too confident. <laughs> so, yeah. And we have uh, games for all ages. We have traditional chess. Okay. Um, games for uh, family games like Survive. Now that one I've never heard of. Oh, it's a nice family fun game. We have a large variety of these where from eight-year-olds on up can play in groups of two, four, six. Oh, wonderful. Games for teens like Eldrick Horror from Fantasy 
Flight Games, which is a Minnesota-based company. Um, okay. And then some of them might have heard of the Settlers of Catan series. We usually have all those in stock. Okay, and those are, are, are popular then mm -hmm. with... Uh, for the teens and, for young, the teens. and young adults. Even um, for young toddlers, we have a nice thing called Seekaboo. This starts out for 18 months and older. Oh, okay. And then you've got a nice little array of, of stuffed animals there, that little cuddly animals. And this animals. is a nice thing from a company called Mineware which is based in Roseville, Minnesota. Oh, okay. There are little cubes that you can um, make in all different kinds of patterns, like there's a fish. Mm -hmm. And here is the stunt set. You just build them all together, you drop your marbles in. Oh, and they, ah, oh, so it's like a couple of different types of activities all in one. Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. I had not seen that before. And I see in the back for those magazine readers, you have Oh, a plethora of, of magazines. magazines too. So almost an entire wall and comic books. Oh, co okay, comic books. So what's hot in comic books right now? Ah, uh, Batman and um, Superman. The new movie coming up. Uh, oh, that's Batman, right. Batman versus Superman. Okay. And uh, Suicide Squad. Uh huh. Haley Quinn. The comic book guys will know that. <laughs> Good because I don't. <laughs> oh well, John, you have just. A plethora of gift items for either give to yourself or give to your family, give to the children close to you for the young and, 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 and young at heart. That's great. Um, tell us what your hours are now for the Christmas shopping season. Well, we're up to 5.30, 8 o'clock on Thursdays. Next week we'll probably start opening up every evening. Oh, okay. We haven't okay. done it yet. We're open on Sunday till 4 o'clock. Okay, from 12 to 4, 1 to 4? Noon to 4. Noon to 4? Okay. Noon to 4. All right. Sometime between 11 and 12 I get down here. <laughs> okay, all right, great. Well, you know, we always want to highlight our, our independent um, retail merchants here. And so for all of you, I urge you, if you haven't been down to Little Professor for a while, you definitely need to come down. I guarantee you, you will find probably something for everybody on your Christmas list, for sure. John, thank you so much for being a guest on the Oatana oh, Today Show. Oh, thanks for having me. And if you can't find it here, we can order it for you. Oh, absolutely, yes. And I've had, over the years, I've had you do that for me. So um, thank you for joining us. And uh, audience, please stay with us. We will be back after a word from our sponsors. Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Ohtana Public Utilities, real people, real reliable, real progress. Making life a little easier day after day. Taking pride in our community, listening to what you say. A voice you can talk to. We're growing with you. With you in mind in everything we do. Ohtana Public Utilities. Welcome back to the Oatana Today Show, your community connection. And uh, we're so glad you could join us. And we're going to be going over some of our uh, events that are going on in the community. We have the Oatana Foundation is pleased to announce the start of their annual fundraising campaign. Now in its 58th year of serving the Oatana community, the foundation provides brick and mortar grants in Oatana and its env environs in four areas, recreation, education, arts, and community projects. The foundation also provides both traditional and non-traditional scholarships for two-year colleges and technical schools. For more, for more information about making a gift to the Oatana Foundation, please visit their website at www.oatanafoundation.org or call 455-2995. Also, Little Theater of Oatana has announced its holiday show, A Christmas Carol, the second production in LTO's 50th anniversary season. Show dates, will be December 10th, 11th, 12th, and a 2 p.m. matinee on the 13th. A post-performance discussion with cast and crew members will be held following the December 6th matinee. Show tickets are available on at littletheateroatana.org as well as the LTO box office, which opens for ticket sales at 4 p.m. November 30th. Well, the Oatana Elks Lodge will hold this year's basketball hoop shoot on Saturday, December 12th at the Oatana Junior High. 
The contest is open to all boys and girls ages 8 through 13 from Owatonna, Watsika, Medford, Ellendale, and Blooming Prairie areas. The top three boy and girl shooters in each category will advance to the district contest. All participants will receive a free t-shirt. Registration will be held at 1230 and competition begins at 1. Well, that wraps it up for today, and uh, we want to thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll join us again on Monday when we'll be talking to the Crisis Resource Center and the Fairview Animal Medical Clinic. Have a good day. Thank you.